Good morning, third graders. Today is Monday, May 11th, 2020. I can't believe it. We are in our last full week of school. Next week is our last week of school. Um, but we are finishing up my view this week. We are going to combine two weeks into one, which means I'm not requiring you to read the main text that we normally read, work on the vocabulary and answer the comprehension questions. What we are going to do today on Monday and tomorrow on Tuesday, you're going to do a little bit of work um, from week four, and then on Wednesday and Thursday, you'll be doing a little work from week five. Uh, that way we can kind of get through our work and have enough time to do a little bit of writing the very last week of school. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen, get your student interactive ready, and we're gonna be working just on three pages today, page 568, 571, and 572. And I'm actually gonna be holding up some pieces of paper that I've written some answers on for you at certain points of the video. So feel free to pause the video during that time so you can work along with me. Um, so what we're working on today on page 568 is a schwa sound. And this schwa vowel sound, it's really funny. It's the sound uh, and it occurs in the unstressed syllable of a multisyllabic word. So in a word that has more than one syllable. So there's a stressed syllable and there's an unstressed syllable. In the unstressed syllable, the vowel sound is pronounced or read like uh, and any vowel can spell the schwa sound. So what we're gonna be noticing in our work is that A, E, I, O, and the combination of the vowels, I, O, U, can spell the schwa sound. Um, an example, of a word that has the, has the schwa sound would be the word along. So if you notice the word right here, along, the A makes the a uh sound. That's one of our syllables. Long is the second syllable. So the second syllable long is stressed. The unstressed syllable is the A. So you say a uh, long. So we're stressing that second syllable long. So your job is to read each of these words. They're multisyllabic words, which means they have more than one syllable. And then to write the word and divide it into syllables and underline the syllable that has the schwa sound. So there's 10 of those words. And then your high frequency words this week are ready and anything. And so those are words that you can just pay attention to. You'll be writing them later in our lesson. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop sharing my screen and I'm gonna hold up a piece of paper that has numbers one through 10 on it. You can go ahead and pause the video. And I just want you to copy down the words the way I've written them. What I did was write the word, I've divided it into two syllables, and I underlined the syllable that has the schwa sound. Now I'm giving you the answers because this is a tricky page, and I want you to see how these words um, are divided correctly, and I want you to see the correct um, syllable with the schwa sound. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing my screen and hold this up for you guys. Make sure you can see all the numbers. I'll leave it here for a couple seconds and I want you to pause the video. And on this page, on page 568, I want you to write these words just the way I written them. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen again. And we're gonna skip a couple pages and we're gonna to go to page 571. On page 571, we're again working with the schwa sounds. So remember, usually these words are multisyllabic. They have more than one syllable. One of the syllables has more stress. The other syllable is unstressed. And that's when you hear the uh sound, like when we say the word above. We don't say the word above, we say above, okay? Um, and so the schwa sound, as it says on the bottom of the directions here, the schwa sound can be spelled with any vowel. So memorizing how to spell words with the schwa sound is important. So your job on this page is to read the words, sort the words by writing the word um, in the correct circle based on which letter spells the schwa sound. One word will fit into two categories. So basically you're looking at your words, these spelling words in here, citizen, decimal, delicious, economy, gallon, global, item, nickel, notify, and travel, and you need to sort them by, by saying the word. So for example, item, um, I notice the E-N, and so I, I see that item, um, I hear the uh sound. So you have to identify which 
letter, which vowel, is making the schwa sound. You also have your high frequency words ready and anything that you just need to copy down. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing my screen. I am giving you the answers for this page because I want you to see the words correctly sorted. So you have two options. You can go ahead and stop the video right now, try this on your own, and then check your answers with me, or you're welcome to just work with me. I'm going to stop sharing my screen and I'm gonna pull up my little cards, that way you guys can see. So under the section titled schwa with the letter A, you need to write the words decimal and global. And remember, you guys are welcome to pause the video at any time to write these down, okay? So schwa sounds with A, decimal and global. Then we have the schwa with the letter O. Your words are gallon and economy. We have schwa with the letter E. Your words are citizen, travel, nickel, and item. So you hear that uh sound, citizen, uh, you hear the uh, it just kind of like rolls off your tongue. Item, that was the example I was using before, nickel, oh, okay. Schwa with the letter I, the vowel I. You have the words notify and decimal, that was our word that was used more than once. And then our last word is delicious, and that should go under the section schwa with I-O-U. Delicious. Uh, okay, you hear that uh sound. All right, you guys. So I hope you pause the videos to either check your answer or to work with me. Let's share my screen again so we can get on to the next page. We're just going to turn one more page. And this is our last page for today. We'll be working on page 572. All right, so there's a lot of text on this page, but when it comes down to editing this paragraph, I think you guys will be able to do it with no problem. So. We're talking today about pronoun, pronoun antecedent agreement. So a pronoun is a word that takes the place of a group or group of nouns. So for example, um, instead of talking about myself and referring to myself as Melissa or as Mrs. Landau, I say the word I or me, or I say that is mine, okay? Um, then the rest of the text says the antecedent is the noun or nouns to which the pronoun refers. The pronoun must agree with its antecedent in number. So that means, um, so in number and person. And when they're talking about a number, you have to keep in mind if it's singular or plural. So if I say that belongs to him, but I'm talking about a group of people, I would have to say that belongs to them. So you have to take in mind when we're editing today, we're talking about one person or more than one person. So let's take a look at these examples. We have first person, which is I, me, mine, my. And if it's more than one, it's we, us, ours, ours. So that includes me, but also other people, which is why it's plural. Second person, if there's just one person, I'm talking about you, your, yours. And notice that when I'm talking about more than one person, so if I'm talking about the whole class, I would still say you. You know how sometimes I might say, hi, you guys, I'm talking to you as a group. It could be your or yours as a group as well. And in third person, our singular pronouns for one person would be he, him, his, she, her, hers, it, its. And for plural, more than one person, um, it's they, them, their, and theirs. Okay, so let's take a look at these example sentences before we go ahead and edit our own. The sentence says, the boy runs to the mailbox. He checks for the mail. My brother and I went to the store. We bought some fruit. So instead of saying the boy runs to the mailbox, the boy checks for the mail, we replace boy with he. And instead of saying my brother and I again, we replace my brother and I with we, okay? So your job is to edit this draft by replacing four incorrectly used pronouns with pronouns that agree with their antecedents, excuse me. Um, and so we're gonna go ahead and do that together. I think this is something you could probably do on your own but we'll do it together anyways. So the paragraph, I'll read it to you once and then we'll go through it again. The storm was approaching fast. They was going to be a big one. My parents and I boarded up the windows. We set up boards as quickly as we could. My dad used her power drill to make the work go quicker. The neighbors ran out of boards. He came over to borrow some boards from us. We helped carry the boards to their house. It were heavy. 
Okay, so there are four errors in here. Let's go and find them. The storm was approaching fast. That's fine. They was going to be a big one. So if the storm was going to be a big one, we don't say they, we would say it. The storm was approaching fast. It was going to be a big one. Cross out they and replace it with the word it. My parents and I boarded up the windows. We set up boards as quickly as we could. Is that okay? I think it is because we changed my parents and I to we, so that is correct. My dad used her power drill to make the work go quicker. Now, does that make sense? My dad used her. No, we should change her to his. My dad used his power drill to make the work go quicker. The neighbors ran out of boards. That's fine. He came over to borrow some boards from us. So if it's the neighbors, we don't replace the neighbors with he. We would have to say they came over to borrow some boards from us. The neighbors ran out of boards. They came over to borrow some boards from us. Cross out he and turn it into they. We helped carry the boards to their house. That's fine. It were heavy. So we're talking about the boards. We helped carry the boards to their house. We have to change it to they. They were heavy. Okay, you guys, that's it for today. I hope the video was helpful. Reach out to me if you're stuck or if you need any help or have any questions. Um, I really miss you guys, and I'll have another video ready for you for tomorrow. Have a great day.